This is Jeff Wilson coming to you with Life's Flying Resources. And we're at Christy Free Church, Sega Town, Pennsylvania. And boy, oh boy, is it beautiful. As I was watching the snow today, I just had to uh, post this. This from this wonderful, beautiful snow reminds us of the good grace of Jesus coming down bright and beautiful, covers things makes beauty out of messes uh, the good grace of Jesus it just keeps coming it keeps a being available for us my motto for this new year 2021 is another great year with God uh, last year was a great year with God there was a lot of troubles but as far as our relationship with the Lord it was a great great year with God this is going to be another great year with God I'm believing and trusting God for it. I encourage you to do that as well. I wanted to post this today because with the change of things in our nation, we didn't think it was going to go this way, but it has. What scripture has prophesied, we see us all the more evidently going in that direction. What this administration has promised, we see them carrying out their promises already. Uh, and I can believe that only more and worse will begin to take place for our country and for the church in America. I'm concerned that not many Christian shepherds were preparing their flocks for this. We were saying, trust the Lord, God is sovereign, and we believe all that, of course, But how do we respond? How do we handle where we are right now? I've had people tell me, no one's really talking about this. Well, we have been. So at Christ, um, I'm sorry, www.christefca.org is our website for Lifeline Resources. And I have some things I wanted to share with you. I have posted there regarding Christian persecution, how to deal with it, how to handle it, how to live through it, how to thrive through it. And I guess if no one else is going to help the churches through it, I'm hoping maybe these resources will be helpful for the shepherds, the pastors, the ministers, the parishioners, the leaders, whoever you are. If you feel like this could help you, these links can help you. It's all free. Some of them are our, are our own um, resources. Some are links to other good resources on persecution, how to handle it, how to deal with it. But one, a couple of these here, not long ago we went through the book of Jude, standing firm when the rest of the world is falling away. <laughs> you ever feel like that? Like... You're striving to stand, to be strong, to be faithful to the Lord, and everything else just seems like it's fallen away. Even some churches, even some church leaders. This is a free resource I have on our website, www.christefca.org, and just hit enter, and there will be a little section there on persecution, uh, standing firm, a study on the book of Jude, uh, destruction from the inside, as well as persecution from the outside of the church. You need to get this and go through the book of Jude. Persecution is addressed in this. Also, America Adrift. This is something we, we went through a while ago. A few years back, thinking of the coming persecution. <laughs> we never really thought that it would be this year but it has started it's crucial that the church prepares for it if you haven't now take steps now to get ready for the persecution it's only going to get worse uh, this is just to help you through that to get you uh, pre prepared hopefully and to know how to live how to handle how to love uh, how to follow Christ through this America adrift a country in crisis and then we just recently went have been going through the Sermon on the Mount and uh, Jesus 
address his persecution in that. And so I took that section from the Sermon on the Mount and compiled this little booklet for you on the narrow way the, that Jesus has called us to, which is what the Sermon on the Mount is all about. Life, politics, and persecution. And this is focused on Christian influence with cultural conflict. That's where we are, church. Uh, these are Jesus' own words and thoughts. Of course, our sermons on them, our teachings on them. Uh, the narrow way. I encourage you to get that. Uh, this one's about 76, 78 uh, pages. It's a brief one. It's a short one. Also, another Lifeline resource. If you want to see where America was born, where we came from, this little document Evidence of God in Country is free to download, and the link is on this website here. Look through this. Look at what our founding fathers wanted for our nation. Look at where we're going. We're drifting away from this, unfortunately. So uh, this is uh, something for free. You can print it off. You can send these links to other friends. Um, Hopefully give them some hope and encouragement as well. Evidence of God in country. And then here's some links that we found. If you've never discovered Chapel Library, it is a wonderful resource. The link in here, it's from Free Grace Broadcaster. It's about persecution. And, and this is from not any, uh, typically these are not from recent writers or theologians or leaders. These are like a couple hundred years ago, some great, great resources from earlier minds on, on the Christian faith. This persecution, download it, read it, send it to others. Also from Richard Wormbrandt, Seven Secrets on Dealing with Persecution, or I'm sorry, Dealing with Suffering. From Richard Wormbrandt, a Christian in Christ in the Lord, brother in the Lord, uh, was, was horribly treated, imprisoned, suffered. Uh, these are some of his secrets that he learned while in prison. And then I've got another uh, resource for you. There's more than these, but uh, this is from the Church History Institute. Um, uh, and there's a link for this. You can download this. This is a brief description of persecution in the church. Uh, it's not too lengthy, but it's got some great, uh, great information for you there. Well, this is going to be another great year with God. I believe it. And uh, I encourage you to stand with me to trust God for, for great things. And I'm going to pray right now. And if you watch this, I'd like to encourage you to make this your prayer as we pray for our nation, for our leaders, uh, and for the church. Our Holy Father, in Jesus' name, I just come to you right now and with many other believers that are perhaps watching this and maybe find uh, these issues of concern. Uh, Lord, we want to address this in a loving manner. Lord, we want to come before you and ask for your grace, ask for your help, ask for your Holy Spirit to be working, to be guiding, to be filling us, to be empowering us, to be equipping us to face persecution as Jesus called us to with great rejoicing. As Paul gave us an example to as he was even incarcerated and, and, uh, and tortured and suffered, he did it with suffering and even ministered uh, effectively in that context. Lord, help us as Christians to stand strong and to trust you for another great year with you as we serve you, as we shine our lights uh, as servants of Jesus Christ in the darkness, Lord, and whatever comes, we'll trust you to strengthen us and that we will be able to rejoice in it. Help us to love what those whom we believe may be our enemies, Lord. We pray for our president, vice president, our governors, those who seem bent on destroying our nation from the inside out, from the top down. We ask that you, O oh God, intervene, that you would touch their minds, their hearts, you would convict them, you would guide them, you would lead them, lead them, uh, Lord, and work in a way that brings you the most honor and glory and is for the overall good of our nation and also for the church. Help us, the church, to learn the lessons that you have for us, Lord. And thank you for the good grace of Jesus that just keeps coming down. Uh, Lord, we love you. We want our lives to show it. In Christ's name, amen. I encourage you to log on and look at some of those links. Uh, look at those links 
and uh, hope they'll, hopefully they'll all be a blessing to you. I'd love to hear from you. What are you thinking about all of this? I'd love to hear from you. God's blessings to all of you in Christ Jesus our Lord.